Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. So, you've gathered up everything for your Type S uh, engine swap. You got your Type S engine, you have your Type S transmission, and you're looking all around to try to find a Type S uh, engine wiring harness and you can't find one anywhere. The one that was on your engine was all hacked up, really unusable, and you've been searching everywhere. You can buy new ones for way too expensive, but the used ones just are unavailable. Fear not, you don't actually have to have the Type S uh, engine harness. If you can find a base model one, I'm going to show you how to use it on your Type S transmission. I've got a harness here I've been kind of modifying for one of my project cars and uh, Originally, what winds up happening is, in this particular section right here, which is where the injectors are, there's a plug that comes out of this hole right here. Now this plug looks like this, and what it's used for is for the solenoid that controls the intake manifold runners. Now this connector happens to be the exact same type of connector you need to uh, use for your reverse lockout. And lo and behold, it's even... Uh, has the correct wiring. It has a power wire, black yellow, and then it has another wire for control that goes back to the ECU. So what I've done here is I've actually already peeled it all the way back. Now what's going to happen is we're going to bring it back into this section of the harness right here. There's a big plastic section here and bring it out of this part right here. Now you're going to need to make sure you have enough wire to reach all the way to your, your reverse uh, to your reverse uh, lockout solenoid. This one's going to happen to go in this little piece of loom and it's going to split out right here. This is the uh, loom for the uh, uh, VSS. It's going to split out and it'll go to the reverse lockout solenoid. Now, now that we have our plug for the reverse lockout solenoid, we need to make sure the ECU can control it. So let's head on over here to the ECU plugs. Now right now, this particular uh, wire goes into the uh, A plug. It's at A8. So if we go here and count one, by the way, clip up, start from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right here to this red yellow wire. That is the wire that is controlling that solenoid. So we need to remove it. First thing you do is you lift the lock here. Once you do that, you're going to use your extraction tool. Now this particular extraction tool is not one of the ones I've used before. This one, by the way, is my favorite one. It's one I made using a dental pick. Uh, it's been, uh, it's got a nice curve on it and it's been uh, shaved down so it's a little less than one millimeter wide but like any e-plug you're going to come to the square opening on the top and you're going to slide along the terminal in there until you feel the tab that it retains it then you oops then you're going to lift the tab and then you can pull the pin out the back so we've got the pin out in the back now and what we're going to do is we're going to cut back the tape on both sides and we're going to bring it over here to the B plug and on the B plug we're going to go ahead and install it at B7. B7 by the way is easy to find. Again clip up one two three four five six seven it happens to be this open end over here. Once we're plugged in there it'll now work for our 02 to 04 RSX harness. By the way, if you're doing this with a uh, 05, 06 RSX, this wire doesn't actually go over to the B plug. Where it goes is to your C101 plug. Uh, I think it's at position number 3 if I recall correctly. It's at number 12. So on the C101, you're going to put it like that with the clip up. You're going to start over here, count 10 across, then 11 and then 12 and that's right there it goes you're going to have to crimp on the, the proper uh, pin for it or terminal for it but that's where it pins into okay there you have it we are now ready for our type 
S engine swap and this will operate the transmission. Now you just got to make sure you have a Type S CCU. But if you don't, I've got a quick tip for that. So why don't you join me next time and I'm going to show you three ways to operate the reverse lockout if you don't have a Type S ECU. Thanks for joining me again here on VTech Academy. Please like and subscribe. If you've got a friend who's doing a Type S engine swap and he's having difficulty finding a harness, why don't you show him this video? Thank you very much for joining me.